Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the field object controls and after that we will see how we can do the modifications to the field objects in the Crystal Report Designer. So, here the field object controls, they are used to edit the objects in the report. To edit the object, you can right click the selected object and then click on the format result objects or you can also do the conditional formatting in SAP Crystal Reports. So first of all, let's see how we can set up the format object properties and how we can do the conditional formatting. So if I go here and if I open up this report, now let's say if I want to see the object properties of any of these objects here. So let's say if I want to see it for the object state. I will select that object, I will right click and go to the format result object. It will open up the window where I have the different options of selecting the general, advanced properties, font properties, appearance and the paragraph. So first of all let's discuss about the general. So general tab is used to define the generic properties of the report object like we can set up the height and the width here. We can hide and show if duplicate. So we have this option. If I want to hide this object, I can hide it from here. I can hide it if, if it is duplicated. I can avoid or show the page break. Similarly, I can repeat it on the horizontal pages. So I can set up all these properties from the general tab. Similarly, if I go to the advanced one here. So in the advanced, if I want to set up any hyperlink so I can use it from here and I can select it under the area of the hyperlink. After that I have font. So the font tab is used to change the font size, color, style, alignment and the rotation of the object name in the report. So we can see here that we have different options for the font available. We have the sizes, colors, styles, alignment and the rotation and we can also write down any particular formula if we want. So if we click on this, it will open up the formula workshop. So if I want any font size or the size or the color based upon certain formula, I can write down the custom formulas here. After that, if I go to the appearance, so in the appearance, we can set up the borders and after that, we can set up the colors, effects. So uh, I want to, if I want to uh, show the borders like the left, top, right and the bottom. If I want to set up the color for the border and if I want to give any special effects to my object. So all these properties we can set from the appearance. Then we have the paragraph. So it is to set up the indentations, spacing, reading order and the text interpretation of my object. So all these properties they can be controlled from the format result object element. After that, we have another property which is a conditional formatting. So when I have to use the conditional formatting. So conditional formatting means if I want to set up any particular formatting based on a condition. So let's say here if I want to add a new condition and wherever the state is equal to the state which I want to highlight like the California. So here I want to change the color of that row if the state is equal to California. So what I will do is I will go here and one minute I'll just select the properties of it. Yeah. So here I want to set the background color as blue wherever the state is equal to California. I'll click on OK and I'll go to the page. So if I drop down, I can see that wherever this California, the background color is coming as blue. So this is how you can set up the conditional formatting for your object elements in Crystal Report. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can format any object, how we can set up the conditional formatting in the Crystal Report for Enterprise. Thank you.